Hi guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. Uh, in the last tutorial, I showed you how to add text uh, text fields to this project. And as of right now, this is what it looks like when it has a Java application. And you can type in a first name, a last name, and it has two buttons. And all we did was make sure that when we press each button that the event is handled correctly. So if you can see, I press add person and it says add person button pressed and same for display people so now let's put this to use and make this uh, button listener class actually do something so first I want to start off by creating an array list for the person uh, that takes in uh, per or holds person object sorry so we're going to say private array list and it's going to hold person objects and we can just call this people that makes sense and now say it equals new array list person bracket right there okay we should have to import the array list okay so now what we want to do is every time that we put somebody in uh, first name and last name in, and hit the add button we want to add them to that array list but we also need to add them to the person class so let's get rid of this right now and we can always do a sys out to the to your console to make sure this button was being pressed and just say um, add button pressed okay so the first thing we want to do is say um, what was it called first field and last field okay so we want to say string first first name equals first field dot get text and like I said in the last video what that does is it's going to go to the text field called first field and it's going to get the text out of there and if you hover over this, I'll just rewrite it, but it returns a string. So you get text returns a string. So we can set a string uh, type and name it first name. And we're going to need that to pass in the constructor of the person object. I'm going to say string last name equals last field dot get text. Okay. And now what we want to do is I could just say new person pass in the constructor which takes in two if you remember from the person class it takes in a first name and a last name in this constructor so what we want to do is pass in these strings that we created and that's why we created those strings because we can't pass in a text field object so we're going to say first name comma last name Alright, well how do we add this to the array list? Because we don't have a name for this. The best way to do that, we call the array list people. So we can say people.add and we can open and close some parentheses and just make sure your parentheses are correct. Everything's held in there. So now we're adding uh, simultaneously we're creating a new person and adding that to the array list people. And if you notice when we if we run this I put in John Smith and I say add person we would it worked because my uh, it, it displayed down here but this is still we'd have to delete all this so that's a pain in the butt so let's I'll show you how to get rid of that what you want to do is say first field dot set text and we're going to leave an empty string in there. Okay? And we're going to do the same for last field. So now, when we run this, I said, whoops, I said Mike uh, Smith. I added, the person's been added because the button said it's been pressed and 
now we can put in new information. So that's very handy. Now what happens is we want to give functionality to this print button. So that's actually really simple. All we're going to do is do a for each loop through the array list that holds the per, uh, person objects that we call people. So we're going to say for and we're going to write the object type which is person. We'll just say p and then colon and then the uh, the list that we want to iterate through. So that's people. And now we can do text panel dot append. I think it was text panel. Was it? Text area, sorry. Text area dot append. And in here we can say whoops, we can say P, but if we did that it would print the names back to back to back in one line or one row. So we want to concatenate that with the um, escape sequence that prints a new line. So just remember that it's uh, backslash n. So let's run this now and see what happens. I'm going to add a few names in there first. I'll just say Mike uh, Smith, add person. I'm going to say William Ferg. Add person. I'm gonna say Billy and Bob. Okay, so now I've added a few people to this array list, and if I've done this successfully, when I put put display but people, it should print out the people I put in there. And it's not gonna do it in any order. We haven't sorted the list, but it should print out. So there we go. Um, whoops, I accidentally have text area append down here, so it still printed that out to the text area but as you can see it did give me the names and it constructed them the way I wanted to with that two string that I created in the person class which said to put the last name comma first name so thank you for watching and please continue to build in your GUI knowledge and join me in the next tutorial